Hello again, it's good to be with you. Welcome to Holy Trinity Thoughts for the Day. My name is John Edwards, I'm a member of Holy Trinity, and uh, if you've been joining me recently, we've been going through the Lord's Prayer uh, as we explore it together. Let us pray that God would inspire our thinking together. Holy Father God, we pray that your Holy Spirit will illuminate your word to our minds. Take hold of our wills and transform us into the likeness of Christ as we explore the prayer he taught us to pray. Amen. Well now, the difficulty of getting an online delivery was probably, I suspect, not the first thought in our Lord's mind uh, as he invited us to pray for our daily bread. What is Jesus really saying here? Well, now, first of all, I think there's the message of the dependence on God for our physical lives. It must be the most obvious point, isn't it? This is a prayer for God's sustaining of our lives. We need food daily to live. Our physical lives are important to God. Our daily bread signifies more than just our daily meals. It embraces all that we need to keep us alive. And as we pray this prayer, we are confronted, are we not, by our own mortality. It reminds us that our times are in God's hands. Our next breath is by his gracious permission. Surely our current crisis with the coronavirus must stimulate us, all of us, surely to humbly acknowledge that our dependence on God is that he holds our times in his hands. None of us can predict what tomorrow holds. But also, I want to show you that the, when we talk about dependence on God for life, the scripture also opens up the idea of eternal life. You see, when the Bible speaks of life, it rarely confines its focus to physical life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. And in describing himself in that way, I think our Lord was teaching us quite a lot. He was telling us that he holds in his hand the key to life, to its meaning, to its purpose, to its destination. He said that he had come to give us life to the full. Eternal life, he said, was to know his father. The meaning, the purpose, the direction of life is not available unless we are in harmony with the God who gave us life. Jesus chose to describe himself as the bread of life. Now food is essential for life, just as knowing Jesus is essential for eternal life. Food needs to be taken regularly. We need to feed on the teaching of Jesus as we find it in scripture regularly. And by feeding on his teaching, what I mean is this, we need to read it, meditate on it, digest it, absorb it, so that it becomes, just like food, part of our very being. But there's something else. There's also a need, isn't there, for an appetite. If we go without food, it isn't long before we're very, very well aware of that fact. And the, but the yearning of our souls to be satisfied by our God, well, that's not no, nearly so easily recognised, is it? Perhaps we should also pray that God would give us an appetite to yearn for him more and more, to be sensitive when things are not right with us to make, make, make us more and more sensitive to the need to be in that close harmony with our Lord. But there's something else I'd like to show you about food, and that is its, its role in celebration. Food not only teaches us lessons of necessity and regularity, but also, I think, of celebration. You remember when the children of Israel traversed the wilderness and God sustained them on their journey with daily manna? But that journey had a destination, and God chose to describe that destination in terms of food. He said it was a land flowing with milk and honey. Well, 
we too are on a journey as we head for our family home where we will live with our heavenly father who is in heaven a journey for which we too require regular sustenance and just like the promised land our destination is also in scripture described in terms of food you remember we look forward to the wedding feast of the lamb and so as we pray give us our daily bread we are reminded that our times are in his hands we pray as we look up to our Father to grant us today the necessities of life. We're asking him to sustain us on our journey and to grant us the resources to do what he wants us to do with the day he has given us. He's granted us another day. We need to make today significant and employed in his wholehearted service. Our prayer for our daily bread asks God for the resources to do what he wants us to do with the day he has given us. And this prayer also peeps into our glorious destination of our journey as we meet him in heaven. Let's pray together. Father, give us today the resources we need for our journey. Grant us the necessary resources we need today to do what you want us to do today so that its hours will be well used and grant us we pray the resources we need to continue our journey so that we meet you ultimately in heaven amen thank you for being with me tomorrow we will explore our need for forgiveness so join me tomorrow if you will as we continue our meditations on this beautiful prayer that our lord taught us to pray god bless you